Hi friends, Rebecca here from And a Sprinkle of Love. Welcome back to day two of our back to school slow cooker dinners. Today we're gonna do smothered pork chops in the crock pot. This is another one of those recipes that you can just put together in your crock pot the night before and just, you know, stick it in your insert in the morning, turn it on and leave it alone. And it has just a few steps. Um, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna need a can of cream of chicken soup and you're just going to add it to your bowl here because you want to get a few things mixed up before you. And then this will be this will be the gravy with a few other ingredients. Okay, and then you're going to need a packet of brown gravy mix, or you could use onion gravy or pork gravy too, I guess, if you wanted to. Just using this is just what I have, so this is what I'm going to use. I'm going to add that along with one package of like the onion soup mix. The yeah, the onion soup mix. And then you're just going to add two cups of chicken stock. This is just some chicken stock I had in the freezer so I just warmed it up but you can definitely use canned or homemade whatever works best for you and so I'm just going to give this a quick little mix and of course I'll have the recipe down below and recipe to some of the to day one's, um, if you missed it, day one's recipe too. And then just to get this ready, I just lightly greased it with a little bit of spray. Okay, so this is pretty mixed. So I'm just gonna take our pork chops. I have four and a half pork chops here. They are, um, they are boneless, but you can use, you know, what you have. I'm not going to season them too much because there's already a ton of flavor in all that sauce I just mixed together. So I'm actually just going to pepper them a little bit. Thumbs up for Pioneer Woman's cute stuff at Walmart. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm just going to lay my salad bring my crock pot forward. I'm just going to put my pork chops in here and then I mean this is how difficult this recipe is and I'm just gonna take this gravy or the sauce that we just made and just going to pour it over and then I lid way over here so I'm just gonna stick the lid on put it on low let it cook seven to eight hours and and I'll probably serve this with mashed potatoes but I'll show you what it looks like when it's all finished see you in a bit okay friends so Magically, it's been eight hours later and my pork chops are finished and it's been cooking in a delicious gravy and I'm actually cooking mine, um, I'm actually cooking um, mashed potatoes for my family, but I'm trying to be good. So as you can see, I have a green salad on my plate, but I just wanted to kind of show you, I mean, it just falls right apart. It is so beautiful. And the gravy will get a little bit thicker as it stands, but it's not, um, but it's, you know, definitely, um, let me zoom me in, maybe you can see a little bit better. Um, you can just kind of see it's super, juicy it's tender it is so flavorful now if you wanted your gravy to be a little bit thicker 
you could just make a little roux and um, kind of thicken it up, you know, right before you serve it and just kind of stick it in about, you know, maybe a half hour, hour before, crank it on high and then the gravy will just kind of naturally thicken up. But for me, this is perfectly fine. It's yummy and so simple. One of the most simple ones and it's just anything that you can just put together the night before and have it be done is my favorite. Oops taking you the wrong way but yeah so this is my dinner for tonight my family like I said will enjoy this on a with some delicious fluffy homemade mashed potatoes and I'll resign myself to the salad but thank you for joining me for day two and I look forward to seeing you um for day three tomorrow thanks for watching be blessed and be a blessing see you soon bye